all of a sudden you had to score 100 hits, moving south the other day. How did that kind of prepare you for this game today? You know, we knew them well. I mean, uh, Coach was saying Kellen Grady's been to more games than Coach's wife this season. <laughs> uh, you know, I think um, we, we knew everything about them. You know, we, a lot of times we're, we're a team that has extensive scouts, but we didn't really have one tonight. We really knew them, and um, they're just really talented. You know, we uh, had our best game. You know, some shots fall, you know, in certain points of the game. Some calls go a certain way certain points of the game. Then maybe we stay in it, and, you know, it becomes a barn burner um, like it was the last time. But... You know, it's no knock on us, no knock to them, you know. We, we got the best of them earlier this year. They got the best of us now. I wish that could have been the other way around, but, you know. What did you guys do uh, so well those first 10 minutes of the game or uh, when you guys went up 28-13? Uh, we were just really confident to come home. We were uh, looking to score the ball and move it with all our teammates. And then when they started getting on a run, we got a little antsy, but we, we tried to come back well and we finished the game strong, but it didn't fall anywhere. Brett, uh, you know, over the last four games, you guys have been in a ton of tournament games, a ton of uh, victories. What's it? I know it's tough now, but uh, what's it like to have been a part of this run for for so long? You know, expecting well. to be expecting to be at this spot every year. Yeah, I mean, obviously it's unbelievable. Coach, coach, kind of touched on it. Um, you know, not everyone gets to do this. And I was talking to one of my friends who goes to South the other day, Jeff Gray, and he said, you know, you guys have just been outstanding every year, and and. Those guys at South, they work really hard, obviously, but they, they haven't had, you know, the success that we have. And, and that's just, I mean, I, it, there's a whole slew of things. Part of it's luck. Part of it's doing things the right way. Um, but, you know, again, just, just really happy that we could, we could do it. And, and this program's going to be good every year. I mean, um, yeah, I, I know that there are going to be people next year who say, oh, they lost Mobley, Jefferson, Stanton, Miller, you know, New North is a rebuilding year. Coach Connolly, Coach Tom Dinellon. Keep them any group of guys going to be really good. There's a freshman in there that's going to work his tail off this offseason. He's going to become a great player. Nate Hollenberg is going to come into playing a huge role. He's going to be one of the best players in the Bay State Conference. And, you know, it's just um, the program is just so great. And I know that, you know, some people are out there just kind of hating on us. A lot of people <laughs> hate Coach. Um, you know, and obviously not. Well, you, go, you go online and just people are saying the meanest stuff about him. Um, I got, you know, as me and some of our teammates got a lot of hate too recently, but I just hope that, you know, the state knows that we, we do things the right way. Um, we work our tails off in practice. You know, we're, we're, we're nice to everybody in the school. Um, you know, the coaches instill good principles in us as young men. And, um, and it's just such an incredible experience. I, I wish that it's unfortunate that every kid can't play, play in this program for at least a year because it teaches you so much about life and, you know, I was so fortunate. I don't know what I'm gonna do without it. I've, I've, shoot, as long as I can remember, I've been some some way a part of it, and I'm gonna have to go play for a different coach. <laughs> yeah. you, you you grew up with this program essentially. You've been around eight nine years. Your brother obviously had a bunch of big moments, and then you got to follow in his footsteps here. And not looking at crystal ball, but history will probably reflect on you as one of the more prolific shooters under Coach Connolly uh, in, in due time. Um, you know, where, where does it go from here? I mean, is, is, it, is it tough to let it go? Or? Yeah, it really is. I mean, I, first off, my, I, I owe everything to my teammates. I just said, you know, like, I've worked hard at basketball. You know, basketball's my thing. And, you know, um, naturally, I'm not that talented a player. I can't jump that high. I'm not that quick. But I work my tail off and work my tail off on things I could be good at. And I just wanted to impress these guys, impress the coaches, impress the guys who came before me, my older brother. Um, Anthony Gurley, Corey Lowe, you know, those are guys that played in the program. I don't really know them that well, but when I see them around town, I always felt so honored that, you know, they knew my name. And, uh, and you know, I just, I've been through some older brother. And it's sad because, you know, I care so much, and all these guys care so much. And, you know, and I'm a jerk sometimes. But, <laughs> you know, these guys love me so much. And Splash brothers, David. Splash brothers right there. <laughs> and, and so it, it's, it's incredible. And, you know, high school basketball, nothing better than it. And I'm going to be a fan of it my whole life. And I think all these guys will too.